Hey guys, hey again. <laughs> it's Stacy and Gooden here, and thanks for tuning back in, and thanks for the love that I've been getting online. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today about the reason why I choose not to wear my natural hair on the air. This is sort of like my go-to protective style, and I get questions all the time from people who've been following me and people who know me from my TV job. They are like, girl, why don't you wear your natural hair on air? Do you not like yourself? Do you not like your natural hair? I get all these comments. And then there are some people who would genuinely say, oh, I love the way your natural hair looks. Why not wear it on the air? And I always say, well, thank you uh, for the suggestion. Thank you for the compliment. But I, right now, I'm not in a place where I'm ready to wear my hair natural on the air for a few reasons. And it has nothing to do with not loving my 4C texture. I love it. I've grown to love it over the years. It's been a struggle um, learning to appreciate the texture that I do have and just learning about my hair, my hair's um, likes and dislikes because I do have 4C hair with a few areas of like 4Bs, but mainly we're talking 4c here and so it's just been a, a journey in getting to know right and then on top of that uh there's just several other reasons and i just want to kind of go through them and just squash it all together so first and foremost i do love my hair i appreciate my texture um, i'm not trying to be somebody i'm not uh the reason why i choose to wear my hair in a protective style in this case it's a wig as a matter of fact my actual hair is about this length right now if I were to straighten it it looks very very much like this and it's the winter time winter months are tough for my natural hair and just being out and about let's give you a rundown I work five days a week as a meteorologist I do weekend anchoring, so I'm in studio on the weekends. And then during the week, I report. And a lot of times I'm outside. I do a lot of feature reporting. It is cold right now. We're in the winter months. So you got low humidity, which is not great for natural hair. The air is very dry, so not a lot of moisture in the air, which means my hair is fighting to, <laughs> to retain all that moisture. And then the, just the time and the convenience of it all. Right now, uh, I feel that the journalism community has sort of gained some steam and just gained some confidence. And I think it all stems from the YouTube community, the natural hair community. So a lot more journalists have taken that, that opportunity to embrace their curls on the air. And I applaud them. I think it's fantastic. I'm just not there yet. Will I be there one day? Absolutely. I think that day will come. It's just not now for me because I have to figure out a few things. How my hair will behave uh, when I'm on the air and when I'm running to and from a story or when I'm dealing with poor weather conditions because I am the meteorologist. If there, there is severe weather that hits or anything weather related, I'm being thrown out there. And sometimes you can say, hey, just slick your hair in a ponytail. It's all good. But in my case, it may not be as easy as you may think. Um, and I've certainly been through the moments where I did at one point when I started out in this business years ago. It's been over 10 years. And I wore my hair. It was just in a relaxed state. You know, it looked similar to this you know, my hair, um, when I wore it relaxed. And every day I was putting heat on it because you're dealing with the elements, you know, you got the wind going all over the place. Sometimes it's wet and then you have to dry it and then you have to add heat, heat and then next you know my hair is breaking off. And then if I wanna work out, that's a whole other scenario. And then the time it takes to get ready and then, you know, dealing with, um, you know, at the time in previous jobs, I had hairstylists and not all of them are familiar with natural hair. They just want to get you on the air present presentable um, in a presentable fashion and they just want to put you in front of the camera and they don't realize 
you know what, there could be some damage here, you know, based off of these products and these techniques that are being used. So with that said, just to put myself at ease and to make everybody happy, including myself, I just find I want to protect my hair and keep it under a wig, tucked away. That way I can retain moisture. Um, I keep it protected. I don't have to worry about people pulling and tugging. If they want to pull and tug at this wig and straighten and blow dry and curl, so be it. It's not going to affect me any. It's fine. <laughs> and I've managed just fine. But then on the flip side of things, there are times when I'm like, I just want to just let it go and just get rid of the wig and just see how it looks on the air. And one day I'll get there. I'm just working out some techniques. I want my hair to be in its healthiest state. I feel like it's almost there. Um, and, and, you know, we'll see. Right now, every day, uh, what I do is I keep my hair moisturized underneath. Uh, I put, um, I protect my edges and I think I'm going to do a separate post on edges because <laughs> I've had some struggles in the past few years and now it's finally gotten back to where it should be. So with that said, I use a special technique when I put on my wig. I don't just throw on my wig. I make sure my, my edges and my hair is protected underneath this. I wear a satin like a satin cap followed by, I can pull it out just so, I'm not going to take the whole thing off, but you could see this is a wig cap and then I have a satin cap separate underneath that will just keep my my edges in place and my the moisture um, is retained. And then on top of that, you know, the wig is kind of like the icing on the cake, if you will. So um, I don't know, I hope that answers everyone's questions um, with, you know, why I feel more comfortable at this stage in the game of wearing wigs. For me, it's a protective style underneath. Once a week, I shampoo, I deep condition, um, as you know, or you may not, if you follow my blog and just previous posts and vlogs and things like that, I've dealt with a lot of hair loss with um, postpartum shedding. And just breakage, just damage from heat, um, just over the years being in this business, um, every day we have to make sure our hair is ready to go on the air. And that can mean you know, applying heat, um, a lot of manipulation, whether it's combing, brushing, um, adding spray, gels, oils, whatever the case is. So now in this state that it's in, my hair is completely left alone during the week. I just keep it moisturized and from time to time I may spritz with water. If I work out, I may just run my hair, like run my hair under the water and then um, put on some like leave-in conditioner or some kind of something to moisturize and then seal with uh, with some type of oil. And that's been working for me. Um, I got a trim not too long ago and that trim has now kind of given my hair this resurgence of like just health and just um, overall shine and it's in a much better state. So I'm trying to keep that preserved. So will I at some point wear my natural hair on the air? Yeah, I mean, at some point, but right now I'm just happy with where it's at and I wear my hair under a wig, when I'm at work, when it's my weekend, it goes free and all is well. So I will definitely keep you posted. If you have any questions um, or comments, please try to keep the comments positive. I know not everybody <laughs> will, but I'm just hoping that you guys do. Um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you may have uh, because Sharing is caring. And if I can offer any of my expertise, great. If not, hey. And if you don't have anything nice to say, don't bother. Keep it to yourself. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.